Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. I promised a while back that I was going to teach you a new uh, ice cream flavor every month until the summer stops here in the Southern Hemisphere. And so today is another flavor. For this flavor, we're going to use manjar blanco, which is the Peruvian dulce de leche. And I've already shown you how to make this on a previous video, so I'll leave it on the link below and also on the eye above me. So we're going to make a regular vanilla ice cream, we're going to add some swirls of the manjar blanco and we're also going to add some chocolate chips to it. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you will find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this manjar blanco and chocolate chip side cream, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. So before we add in the manjar blanco and the chocolate chips, we're going to do the vanilla ice cream, which is the very first step. So for that, we're going to do a creme anglaise. In here, I already have my milk and cream and also vanilla essence. Try to use natural vanilla essence. And here I have sugar and egg yolks, which I've already separated. So first I'm going to warm up the cream and the milk until I see the vapor is coming out of it and at the same time I'm going to whisk the egg yolks with the sugar and as soon as you put the egg yolks on the sugar or vice versa you want to whisk it really really hard because if not the sugar is going to start to cook the egg yolks and you're going to get a skin. Of my cream and milk and so the first thing that I'm going to do is temper my yolk mix so I'm going to add a bit of this and then whisk really fast just to make sure that I'm not making scrambled egg yolks and then everything is going to go back in here and we have to cook it until we get a coating consistency on our spatula You know you've reached coat coating consistency if you draw a line through the spatula like this and it's not erased by the liquid on the top. Also you'll know you're reaching that point because the foam that forms on top from us whisking uh, the egg yolks will start to disappear. Okay, so now I've reached coating consistency. As you can see, there's a clear coat on top of my spatula and it's not getting covered if I draw a line across it. And so now I'm going to change it into this bowl just because the pot is still hot and so it's still cooking while it's in there and it could uh, split. By the way, this creme anglaise is exactly the same sauce uh, that they put with the desserts sometimes when they say it's a vanilla sauce. It's usually a creme anglaise, so you can also use it for several desserts. Now into this mix, while it's hot, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the manjar blanco that I, that I did previously and help it dissolve into my mix. After that, I'm going to put it on an ice bath just to help it cool down to room temperature and then I'm going to transfer it into another dish so that it can freeze in uh, the freezer. It's going to go into the freezer twice before it's frozen into our, our edible ice cream and that's because we're going to freeze it one time then we're going to whip it up on uh, the machine you can use a stand mixer or even a hand mixer it's just the same then we're going to freeze it once again and bring it back out and whip it up once again and then we're going to mix in the rest of our manjar blanco and also the chocolate chips and that's where it's going to go into its final freezing uh, stage and um, at that point you're going to be able to eat it. What this process does is gives us a really nice and airy ice cream without having the need to actually have an ice cream machine. 
When you're going to freeze uh, this for the first and the second time, you want to use a large surface area just so that it happens faster. So four hours later, my crema glaze is frozen and now I'm going to put it inside my mixer and whip it up until it's nice and creamy and then it's going back into the freezer. and into the freezer. So right now if you see it looks like there's a lot more than before and that's because we we have incorporated some air into the ice cream and that's really important for a really nice and smooth and silky ice cream. It's been a couple of hours later and so it's frozen again and we're going to give it a last whip before we put it in its final container. Once again, we're going to add the toppings. First, the chocolate. And now we're going to put this inside our containers, and that's where we're going to swirl the manja blanca. So here I have a bread mold, just a regular loaf mold, and I'm going to uh, freeze it in here with some baking paper so that I can uh, take it out easily. So first we're going to add a layer, a layer of ice cream. We're going to swirl it a bit with the manjar blanco and then add more on top of that. Now that you have something like this, we're going to swirl it further with a uh, skewer. Now just for fun, I'm going to add a bit more on the top, as well as some more chocolate. These chocolate chips are chopped a bit larger than the other ones just for look. Now it's going into the freezer overnight. That's going to guarantee that it's perfectly uh, solid and that you can make really nice uh, bowls out of them. That was my manjar blanco and chocolate chip ice cream recipe. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video. It makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the blog, don't forget to send me a picture or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.